What's going on everyone? This is X25 and welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. And today we are going to be taking a look at trains as you can see in the background. It's just one of many trains of quite a couple that we're going to be looking at. No random... It's just going to be at random order. But yeah, that's what we're basically going to be doing. But if you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. A anyways, let's just get started. Okay, so this is a piston-powered steam train. Let me look it up on the lift. And by the way, I am using mods for this. I don't exactly know the mods for the train, but there are the mod for all the tracks that does not come stock with the game. Uh, it is actually okay. The the tracks are actually part of a mod called of a terrain asset mod by Lord Payne, and you can use them in the tile editor. Anyways, this is a piston steam train, and it's by Didoff. First, you have to press the. Okay, that, those are just instructions. I know how to use this, but anyways, let's just build it so that way you know how to spawn these things. You gotta make sure that they're lined up with the tracks, and it looks like this one is. I think the good thing about these tracks is that they are properly aligned, like they're an even number, so you have less of an issue trying to get in here. Well, trying to get it on the tracks, because the problem with trains is scrap mechanic is that they can sometimes lag a little bit. Anyways, let's just get up in here. It will get a little laggy at first once you start making it move, but it will smoothen out. First, okay. I think you... Yeah, that resets the pistons. And then you press this switch to move, right? Yep. And let's zoom out here. Is that seriously? Hold on, I'm going to put down a seat here. Okay. So yeah, we are moving right now. Oh great, please you see what there was a bad idea. Now I'm stuck in the train. Uh oh. Yeah, and you press that to go faster. And then the R button is to reverse. But yeah, it's an actual train. I'm really wondering what activates the light down there. Oh, wait, it is on. Okay, I guess they're permanently on. But yeah, this is a nice train. I, this is like one of the best ones I've ever seen. I've actually attempted at making one myself, and it didn't go out very, go too well. Yes, and I'm, no, I'm not attempting to make an R1. <laughs> yep, I think this is completely stock. Except for, um, the, obviously the train wheels that he's using. And I think that's the only mod that he's using. I could be wrong, though. You could be using a different block under there. You can even, like, it's very detailed. You can even see the work of the pistons. Uh, are that's like under the train you can kind of see them like at any angle yeah it's, it's a nice looking train but let's try and stop this before things oh yeah there's also a whistle <laughs> okay let's just slow this down and if you turn all of them off, I think it acts as a brake. Even. Yeah, there we go. I feel like we just derailed. I feel like we derailed by accident. No, we're fine. Yeah, it just got a little bit crooked. But yeah, that's the Piston Steam Train by Didoff. It's a really amazing train. But anyways, let's look at the next train that we're going to be taking a look at. If I can get back on the tracks, that is. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh, I'm getting lag. 
Okay, let's see. What else do I have? I know I have more than one train. Oh, yeah, here. Here's one. This is actually a fire train, and I actually built this. It's very well done, too. It might look a little bit weird. Oh, and I spawned it the wrong way. Whoopsie. Yeah, this is going to lag when I drop it down. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, it's that shining glitch. It doesn't really matter which way you spawn it as long as it works. And I need... Why can't I jump? What the heck? Wait, I can't move. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's because of the train, right? Yep, it was the train. Yeah, there's a weird shiny glitch that happens. Unless if I take it off the left, hold on. Sometimes if you pause it, it might fix itself. No, it won't. Yeah. I have no idea why it... Oops. <laughs> I accidentally grabbed it. I really don't know why it's doing that. It's like a weird glitch. I think it's a texture glitch or something. Okay, this time, take the lift away from it. And this is going to lie because, yeah, it's a lot more parts than the last one. Hold on, if I try and repaint it, will it fix itself? Let's see. Nope. Yeah. I have no idea why it does this at all. Yeah, but you get into it like so, like this, and do it like that. I'm pretty sure that. And I could have sworn I. <laughs> I also could have sworn that I. Um, I don't really know I was going. So, yeah, I think one's the. I think it's acting up a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, I think it is acting up. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that. Yeah, that's supposed to be the siren and lights. And two's the horn. And then... Oh, yeah, three's the lights. And it's got big lights on the front. <laughs> if I can zoom out, you will be able to see the, the back lights. I'm pretty sure they're back there somewhere. But, yeah, let's just go. It does take a little bit to speed up. I will, I will tell you that. But I can get moving pretty fast at pretty decent speed. This is like one of the mo This is like one of the bear, like one of the trains that I really like. Because of how well how well done it is. Yeah, it might be a little bit slow, but yeah, that's basically how trains work. Did I remember to upgrade the speed on this? I don't think I, I think I forgot to save it with the upgraded speed, but yeah, anyway, that's the, uh, that's that train. Now I'm going to, okay, yep, I forgot to reset a couple of stuff because this is not how the door is supposed to open. I'm pretty sure I fixed this. And sometimes you need to place a block to get it to work. Oh no, we might be stuck in the train. Uh, yeah, if you're wondering what that does, that controls the the hose that's up top. And why can't I move? 
I can't move. I'm literally stuck. Wait, never mind. No, I'm not. I just want to get out of here. So can I please get out of here? Oh my gosh, it's so laggy. I just want to get out. Free me from the lag. There we go. All right. Yep, that's my fire train. Yeah, there's a glitch that's happening right now. Not, and of course, it's happening at the worst time. Anyways, next train. And hopefully I spawned it in correctly this time. Okay. This is actually a train switcher. And we'll take we'll get the other one in a minute, but this is another one I built, and once again it spawned the wrong way. I have no idea why those pieces are white, but beats me. I do believe that this runs on an electron on an electric engine. I almost said elect What the heck? Did it not? What the heck is happening? Okay, that's weird. Okay, now it's the right way. That was weird. Huh. Anyways, this is the train switcher. Can I repaint that? Uh, or is it the glitch that's happening? I think it's the glitch. Yep, it's the glitch. Yeah, that's supposed to be black. But it's not. Why is this glitch happening? I have no idea why. Yeah, but there's no real legitimate way to get into this. You just need to use the lift to get into it. It's so small. Because this is like a very small train. This is usually the kind that will just like move train cars around. This is the door. Very simplistic. I really don't think you can get... <laughs> I really don't think you can get into this thing legitimately. I know I have... What the heck is going on here? I know it can get out further than this. Hold on a second. I'm gonna try and figure out how to get this thing open. It might be blocked by something. I have no idea what it's doing. Hold on, let's try this again. Wait a second, wasn't there another way to get in? I feel like there was. I feel like there was a, I feel like I put a seat somewhere. Or not. I feel like I did. There's gotta be something in here. Hold on. I know how to fix this. I'm going to need to get out the hammer. You stupid door. Go open. I really do not want to screw anything up. Okay. Apparently all we can do is look at it because it's a sign not to cooperate. Okay, that's another weird glitch that's happening. I have no idea why the Calic logo is on the, that. What is happening to my world right now? I think the world is glitched out. I might need to start a new world in order for things to work properly. Yes, sometimes you need to do that in Scrap Mechanic. But anyways, let's look at the Earth Switcher. Hopefully it won't glitch out this time.
All right, this switcher is by Jordan, and he has made quite a couple of these. And these are one of the ones that don't that doesn't lag, and this one is also very detailed. And it does use a little bit of a a little bit different technique that most people do. Okay, yes, it spawned the right way. I was hesitant to do it at first. It might lag here though. Oh, it's not even a line right. My bad. But it doesn't look like that it's glitched out or anything. Although that might be glow blocks. Yeah, something's very wrong with the mods. I have a lot of mods installed. I think it's glitching out because of it. Yep, I think those are... Yep, those are definitely glow blocks. What is going on with the world? Why is this world so... Why is Scrap Mechanic so broken? It looks so ridiculous. It looks like a candy apple red. At least the door can work. Okay, I'm guessing this is a seat. Yep. Okay. Oh! I'm guessing it's WASD controlled? It is! But I can barely get moving! <laughs> what is it doing? Hold on, I think there's extra instructions for this. Um, if not, then I can't figure out how to... Oh great, I trapped myself in here. No! Get this out of my way! Why can't I get- Why can't I check out any of the trains? I thought this episode was going to go splendidly, but Scrammy Cake does not want to cooperate with me. No, I don't want to- Okay. Okay, let's see about the last one. Oh no. Pfft. And I just got a random glitch there. Okay, so this one is actually very cool. And once again, it spawned the wrong way. And once again, the parts are glitching out. Why is this world so broken? I did not want to start a new world. It's because I did not want to go reinstalling a bunch of mods. Because I can never remember how many mods I are being used. This one actually looks good in the shininess. Shininess. Anyways. Yeah, but this is a rail racer. This is something I came up with myself as myself with myself. It's like a basically a racing train. So, you use five to close the hatch. This is, actually looks very, very cool. It's like a futuristic look. It has like a futuristic look to it. It will look even cooler if the if it wasn't bugging out. But what can you do? Anyways, one is, I believe, downward thrust, yes. Two is uh, to go forward. And then I believe three is a boost. Yeah, three's a boost. Is it a boost? Okay, that's not. Yeah, four is a boost, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it would go it would be going a lot faster if it wasn't bugging out. But yeah, this does look I really like the look of this thing. It's like a bullet train. Even though it's not really a bullet train. 
I'm pretty sure you're... Yeah, those are the thrusters. Although they don't have the thruster afterburners on. Wait, what was that? I have no idea. Yeah, but I think two is supposed to be the boost, and then three is... Wait, now we're moving. Yes! Full speed ahead! This is awesome. Oh! Yeah, don't pay attention to the vehicles uh, around here. The bus over there, I'm still working on. The semi truck is another story. That will probably get its own video as well. And there's the seat where we started the video. Why is it turning? I have no idea. But yeah, but if you're wondering what four does, it's the brakes. Hold on. I said it's the brakes. Apparently, one of the air brakes don't want doesn't want to work, but yeah, but it's just basically fo thrusters that that add power this way the, in the direction you're going to slow you down. And air brakes are supposed to come up, but for some reason, one of them didn't. Once again, probably weird scrap mechanic glitches. I have no idea why the game's so broken. Yeah. But yeah, that's the rail racer. Okay, that was a weird sound. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for today's episode of Scrap Mechanic. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel. And I will see you guys next.